Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It really means the world to me. I'm very, I'm very glittery. Do you think I went overboard? I just got back from shopping with my mom. I took her shopping. We went to TJ Maxx and of course I got a few things and I did vlog and it was super fun taking her shopping and letting her get a bunch of stuff that she wanted. I wanted to get her more and she wouldn't let me get it for her but you know she's that way. So if you hear this thumping in the background my neighbors are having this wild party with music that is blaring that I don't understand the concept of the blaring music but nonetheless it is happening and there's a fly. Good start. Now that I'm talking for three and a half minutes without doing anything and there's Baxter. <laughs> Let's talk about the Sephora thing. Sephora is having their summer sale it's going to be their usual 20% off, 15% off, and 10% off. Some information has been released. I mean, it starts Monday. You would think all of the relationships... <laughs> relationships? <laughs> you would think all the information... Don't ask me where I got relationships from. I have no idea. You would think it would have all been released as of yet. The information that I find out, I will put below in the description box for you. I am sweating profusely. What would a video be without that? But so let's talk about Sephora and what's in my loves list because I took everything out of my card and I just put it in my loves list. And also, have you noticed that they updated the Sephora app and I'll be darned if I can figure it out very easily? It's a little complicated and it will take some time to get used to it because I'm used to the way it was and so now I can't find anything. It took me 10 minutes to find my loves list. There you go. I also wanted to talk about other ways you can save money. Remember, the max is 20% off, but remember Ulta is having their 21 Days of Beauty coming up starting September 1st, which is unfortunately very, very soon. Take a look at that. If there are items in there that are sold at Sephora, wait till that sale because you're going to get it for 50% off. I did that. There are several items that I know I can get at Sephora, but I'm waiting for that sale to get those. The other thing I wanted to mention is that check the brand's websites. I'm going to give you a for example. I've been wanting the Tarte's High Tides and Good Vibes palette. You know, the one that's got the little water in the cover because you know I'm a packaging snob and I just love packaging. And I was waiting for it to go on sale. Now, when they announced this sale at Sephora, of course I added it to my loves list, but then Tarte sent me a 30% off coupon. Now granted, I'm not going to get the Sephora points, so you have to weigh. I think I would rather save the money, save the 30% on that palette. So I ordered that and I ordered two of the chrome paint pots because Sephora also has them, but again, 30%, I did get free shipping. There you go. So check the actual brand's websites because they are going to want to compete with Sephora. They're going to, Sephora, not Sephora. They're going to want to gain your business and take it away from the Sephora because they're going to make more money if you buy it through them directly than if you go to Sephora. So do your due diligence. Sign up for brands that you like. They will send you coupons often. And if you are going to shop on the Sephora website, Please make sure that you sign up for Ebates. Yes, I have a link below. It's a referral link just like you would have if you recommended somebody to sign up for Ebates. It's now called Rakuten, by the way. If you shop online, you it's silly for you not to shop through this website because you get cash back. And not only that, I this time, because I just got my check, you do get the checks quarterly. Instead of getting the money back, I got 15% extra and got myself an Ulta gift card. Win-win situation. All right, let's get ourselves comfortable. I'm going to move over so I can put up pictures like right about here. I'm going to lean back and we're going to discuss this. It's comfortable? It's comfortable for me. So <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of things on my loves list. Let me tell you. Hold on. All right, that's better. You don't need to see all of me. The very first thing which I can say that I am definitely getting is the Huda Beauty Kaylee Vanilla Fragrance that I sampled in the past Allure box. I love that fragrance, and I am definitely going to get that fragrance. The thing is, am I going to get it from the Huda site, which they offered through Allure, either a 20, I think it was only 25%. 
and I might have to pay shipping if I'm only getting that because it's coming from Dubai. So I have to weigh the pros and cons and the cost of getting it through Sephora or getting it through them. I'm not sure, but I want, I need, <laughs> no, we never need makeup or fragrance or anything else. These are all luxury things that we allow ourselves to get. It's a pricey perfume and I really don't normally spend that much money because I get my samples and I love my samples. So yeah, there's that. The next thing, I wasn't going to get any of these and then I forgot who I was watching goodness I cannot remember but it's the Huda Beauty there's Huda Beauty again it's the neon obsessions palette but it's like the orange one I'm gonna put that here all the pictures are gonna be over here I heard mixed things about it it's a $29 palette two dollars more than her regular obsessions palettes which like why you know I heard that the Pink one was a little disappointing. I don't know. I can't exactly remember, but I do know that I heard decent things about the orange. <clears throat> Question is, summer is ending. Now, I don't really go by that whole, you can only wear colored, certain colored makeup throughout certain times of the year, but it might be a little bright. I think I would necessarily rock a neon palette in the winter. I don't know. Maybe I would. But so I'm thinking, can I wait until like the next sale? Maybe they're going to do one in November as they always do. And then they'll probably do a spring sale. Do you think I can wait that year? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can if the colors are still in, you know? I'm obsessed with lip balms and, and anything to keep my lips, uh, you know, I hate dry lips. Let's just put it out there. I despise dry lips. It, I have to have something on them at all times. Fresh has their Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. Now, let me take a look at this. It comes in a pot, which doesn't always thrill me because if my fingers are dirty, in other words, if I haven't washed them, I don't necessarily want to dip my finger into a pot. I really prefer a balm in those instances. But it's $18 for a lip balm. But it's got like a lemon scent. And I like that scent also. So I have to think about that one. One thing I'm absolutely getting, and I know I can only get it at Sephora. Well, I can also get it on the brand's website, but I don't see them having a sale. And that is the new Fenty foundation. The other foundation, it did not work for me because it's too matte, too heavy, and it does not work on my normal too dry skin. But the new Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, on the other hand... Yes, please. There are so many foundations that came out that I'm trying to be selective about which ones I get. I don't want to run out and buy six foundations because I don't need them. And I think I want to wait. They're not going to disappear. Granted, when I do try them, if I try them on camera, they're not be going to be the newest review out there. But, you know, I'm not really caring about that. I'm caring about my wallet since I'm buying all of these things myself. But it definitely sounds like something that I want to wear. And my parents have now raised the volume of the TV. My apologies. So that foundation is $35, which is actually a reasonable price for a high-end foundation. The packaging is not luxe, which is why I think they're able to keep that cost low. It does come in a soft plastic tube, which I'm not too thrilled about because I, it's gonna, may or may not, if I could speak, be difficult to get all of that foundation out. What I do with my glass jars is, when it's done, I take the pump off, I stick my little scooper in there, the silicone spatulas that I have, and that's how I get out all of the foundation. But I mean, I am absolutely getting it. It has 50 shades, which of course she started the trend of that, which is wonderful. I am thinking that I'm definitely going to like it. The next thing I actually have one of, and I like it very much, it's the IGK Sold Out Curling Priming Base. Curl Priming Base. It's originally $27. It's on sale for $19. I actually paid $19 because it was on sale before. So it's being it being $19 and me being able to save another 20% off, it's not going to go bad. So I want to buy a backup of it in case it's being discontinued. Maybe that's why it's on sale. I don't know. But saving the $360 off of that $19 will be really awesome. Okay, now this one intrigued me. The Sephora Collection False Eyelash Cleaning Set. It was $14 and it's now $5. It only has three stars. I don't wear false lashes that often, but when I do take them off, I'm like, ooh, what is all this gunk on them and what am I going to do to clean it? So 
I'm gonna read the reviews again and I'm gonna say it's only five dollars and then of course I'm gonna save a dollar off of that so you know maybe if you guys have tried any of these products the ones that I don't know and I'm on the fence about please let me know your opinions so I know actually whether to go out and spend my money and I'm hoping that I'm doing the same for you and saying maybe spend your money maybe not okay so I'm out of retinol creams and retinol is my like must-have for my face I could go out and I could buy the Sunday Riley Juno sleeping oil, which I've been using for about a year and a half, almost two years, and I really do like it, but I also want to try some others as well. And yes, it could be like, if you know something works, why go out and try something different? Because as a review channel, I want to try new things that are coming out and tell you guys whether or not they're worth your money. If I can save you money, that's my goal. Now this one I'm definitely not buying, but the brand intrigues me so much. It's $140. Yes, I know. I hope you were sitting at the time when I actually said that. But it's Dr. Barbara Sturm. It is a new skincare company and it is new to Sephora. This is the eye cream, $140 for an eye cream. And you must, would say that's insanity, which is why I am probably not going, most definitely not going to buy it. But when you think about, all right, I'm saving $28 off of that. It's still a lot of money. I wanted to look at the ingredients again and see why it's $140. See, now it's interesting looking at it is most of the ingredients there are only maybe six ingredients in front of the phenoxyethanol which is your preservative the betaine the panthenol and a lot of the other ingredients are actually below phenoxyethanol the macadamia seed oil glycerin is up front the more i look at them like but why 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 is this 140 dollars and honestly I mean, it has golden root and um, sugar beet, but I don't know enough of the effects of that for me to say that it's worth 140 bucks. So that's definitely a hard pass. See how I'm talking myself out of things when I sit down with you guys and like I'm discussing it with you. I just wish you were there and right in front of me to like <laughs> really talk me out of it. Now, I've talked myself out of lip products. I'm not uh, buying any lip products right now. But Guerlain has their Petite Robe Noir Lip Color. Originally $32, which is insane. It's a liquid lipstick. But it's on sale for $19, and you can save yourself $3.60 on that, which makes it more of a reasonably priced liquid lipstick. I don't need them, but I want them, but I don't need them. Do you see what I'm doing here? I don't own anything Guerlain. The packaging is stunning. The colors look stunning. I have 111 and 112 in my cart, both of them. I'm probably not going to be getting them, but I like them. I said, and for the price, it's about, you know, it's maybe another $5 more than a drugstore. So it's on my, you know. So now I also have the Huda Beauty Obsessions uh, Sapphire palette in my loves list. It has 4,400 reviews and four stars. And as a blue palette, as you can see, it's a little bit different. It's not all blue. It has the yellows and it's got the shimmers. It looks to me like it has like maybe five shimmers and four mattes. And it, it just looks pretty. Like there's that tealy, that greenish color on the top. And the one in the blue, it looks like a slate blue to me. That's the glittery one. I... I mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's hard for me to justify, but I love the way blues and yellows look together as well. Hmm. The emerald one's looking pretty awesome too. And it is coming up into the colder months because it is more of a cool toned, darker, grungier look, but it looks awfully pretty. But now the green one, the emerald only has three mattes. So that's something to consider too. Can you create a look with those three mattes? And you can always create some kind of look with shimmers, but that's something to think about as well. And these are only $27. I have this thing about trying new concealers. I'm always on the hunt for that magical concealer. I have a good combination of things that have been working well for me, but you know when you just want to like put it on and you want it to be magic underneath your eyes? Wishful thinking? Yeah, but I can still wish for it. 
the stay it naked of course i'm not i don't know if i'm going to get that foundation again there's another foundation out there but it is the correcting concealer it comes in 25 shades which is pretty good it's 29 dollars, which seems to be the standard price for all higher end concealers say it's full and it's matte that is the only thing that is shying me away from picking it up is the heavy matte concealers are going to accentuate wrinkles and anything else that you got going on underneath there your girl doesn't need any help in that department so i'm going to think about that and still keeping along those retinol ideas obagi i haven't tried anything from obagi and again it is another new brand at sephora this is a 0.5 retinol which means it's going to be fairly gentle i personally can go up to a two percent retinol especially if that two percent is higher up in the ingredients a 0.5 is not going to attack any major concerns but you're still getting the retinol effect let me see where the retinol is in this cream here so i see that the retinol is medium way down but even with the luna sleeping oil the retinol is not the first thing yet the luna sleeping oil is effective on my skin for sure but this does have wonderful ingredients there's nothing alarming everything is looking quite good and this is only 55 dollars. do you see what a huge price difference sometimes i really do think that you are paying for the name and nugget kitten has decided to drape herself over the legs of my tripod so that one is on my radar and of course glow recipe has come up with something else and that is the avocado the glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask off this is one just like the regular sleeping mask but this one's specifically for your eye I'm, I'm curious as to what the difference is this one does have retinol niacinamide and coffee berry so maybe I don't think the other mask has the coffee berry in it and I don't know if it's got the niacinamide and those two will possibly work on hyperpigmentation underneath your eyes and the coffee will also depuff as well so that could be it essentially let's look at this so both the coffee and the retinol are about in the medium it does have the avocado fruit extract right up front so that is good it does have the niacinamide right after that so that is good and depending upon the percentage the retinol and that coffee extract could be beneficial maybe i'll try a sample maybe i'll pick it up but what is the price of this one they are not inexpensive products it's 42 dollars again along the price of their other items and you know it's it's expensive it's a lot i mean a full face of skincare can cost you a lot of money now this Fenty by Rihanna, the Frost Bunny, it is the metal lipstick three-piece set. I have had this in and out of my card, I think probably for the past four months. It came out at Christmas time. I've never tried any of her lipstick products. Now these again are multi-use. You can use them on your eyes as well. They just look pretty. Her packaging is just so lovely. It comes in three different ones. The one that I'm looking at is the Frost Honey. And it was originally $39. It's on sale for $270. So you're talking about saving $540 off of that. So, you know, $21 and change for three products. That's not really that bad. A little more than $7 a piece. Hmm. It kind of makes me go, do I want it? But then it is a lip product. You know? Of course, I've always wanted to try the Huda Beauty High Coverage Concealer. That one is 30 bucks, and it comes in the 20 shades. Hmm. It has 545 reviews at 4 stars. Full and matte. Oi. It does have a cooling tip. I sometimes like that, but those metal tips when you're plying, trying to apply plying. When you're trying to apply concealer, it can sometimes be a little bit messy. That's just in my past experience with things. But again, I haven't tried her foundation either, so may as well just throw that on the list. Things I'm probably not going to get. Now, Kat Von D products, shockingly, I know, you're shocked, but they are on sale. Her Saint lipstick and fragrance set was originally $25 it's on sale for $15 now out of her two the saint and the sinner I only like the saint my girlfriend Brenda likes the sinner fragrance which is why whenever I get the samples it goes to her it's only $15 it, the saint fragrance is in a rollerball which I like because I can throw them in my purse very easily and 
I haven't tried that color lipstick, but it does look really, really pretty. And I may pick that up, except, um, again, it's that I am drawn to lipsticks these days, and I don't like my lips. Someone explain that to me. I can't. Those Bite Beauty pencils, which I didn't wind up getting last time, they are still freaking on sale for half price $9. I am just going to go out and get some, because they will last quite a while, and I like them, and I want them. I mean, they have 2,100 reviews at four and three quarter stars. They're really good. Why they're still in stock, I have no idea. But for nine bucks, again, that is almost, that's just about a drugstore price. And plus, I'm going to be saving the $1.80 off of that. So, I'm, I'm going to go for it. Now, this one surprised me. What surprised me was the price. Because the Ordinary has very inexpensive prices. Yet, their buffet and copper peptides 1%. This is $28.90. It only has 37 reviews at four stars, but it's got peptides in it and a lot of good things for your skin. I don't want to go through all of them. And it, you know, $28 for a good skincare item, I think is definitely reasonable. Again, then you would be saving some of the money off of that. So it might be something that I'm going to pick up. I have enough moisturizers. I um, don't have enough serums. I have tons of moisturizers, but as far as my serums, they're running low in my stock. So that I think is going to be something that I want to try. Again, I want to see what that, why that price point is so high because normally the ordinary is a good $15 and under. Like my caffeine solution uh, serum is like $6. So that intrigues me why it is that high. They have the Lux at Sephora it's one of their favorites kits. It's $39 with a $69 value. Now, I think they could have taken some off of there. You know, $39 bucks and you're only getting $79. That's really not that much of a savings. But I think it is all of their Lux brands. You're getting the Dior Show Mascara, Giorgio Armani Lip Product, Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which I, if I did not have so many setting powders, currently in my rotation, I would be trying the Hourglass Veil. I would get this kit just to try it. You're getting a Pat McGrath lipstick, you're getting a Tom Ford lipstick, and you're getting the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Eclat Blur Primer, which I do like, by the way. Do I necessarily think the huge value is there? No, but each of those products, I wouldn't be able to go out and buy the full size because of their price tag. So. It's 40 bucks essentially, so I'm going to be saving $8 about, so I'll pay like $31, $32 for it. So it may be something that I will pick up because, again, I can't go out and buy the Touche Eclat. I can't go out, and I can probably do the Hourglass, but I don't know if I would be buying the other products. So to be able to get their little mini sizes, which I love anyway, I think it's a worthwhile thing to get. Nails Inc., if you can get them on sale, I have um, a trio of them in here. That's the one, whenever you guys compliment me on my nail polish, that's what I'm wearing, the brand Nails Inc. So when you see them on sale at Sephora, they're normally $15 a piece. If you can get them when they're on their sale apart, definitely get them. They last. They're so good. The colors are beautiful. I never say, you know, recommend something that much, but it's the stuff that you guys always compliment me on, so... One product that, again, because it's a lipstick, I'm not going to get, but I would recommend picking them up for $4 for my friends, plus the 20% off. The Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. This, I have the color 22 pink in my cart. Four bucks. <laughs> they also have a blue and a green, but get the pink one. It's normally $14. That's $4. I mean, you know. One thing I highly recommend the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is the one that is not the Instant Cleaner. I also have that. This is the mini one. It's norm It's a $12 value. They have it for $10. It comes with the little tin and the little bottle of the makeup cleaner. You don't need very much at all. I like this one when you're doing a nice deep cleaning for your brushes. I prefer the Instant Brush Cleaners because I deep clean my brushes about every two weeks. I Insta clean them with the sprays that dry quickly all the time. But Cinema Secrets is excellent. Professionals use it all the time. They do have back in stock the Becca and Chloe and Malika collection. Those lipsticks are $14.50 and again you're going to be saving the 20%. I saw the colors are back on sale. They were back in stock. So 
I know they were out when I did my video, but if you guys are interested in getting them, you can get them even for even for for an even cheaper price uh, my moon juice beauty shroom exfoliating acid potion at $39 I have missed that stuff in my life tremendously so I am definitely going to pick that up it is a pricey toner but she works and nugget is shaking the camera so that shroom juice is coming home with me I want to get my Olaplex I always pick it up when it's on sale I only have a little bit left of my Olaplex and I haven't done it in a while so it is time for sure. The other powder that I want to try, but it's a compact so it's not like a loose powder, it's one that I can keep in my purse, is the Jouer Cosmetics the Hydrate and Set, the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. I'm thinking that I may want to get it. I always like to keep a compact, a powder compact in my purse at all times. This one also has the hyaluronic acid. So I may, I may, it's 30 bucks though. I mean, 30, 30 dollars for a powder compact is a lot of money, but I've heard amazing things about it. So it may be something that I will look into. If you're looking for a fun palette that's not a lot of money, the Sephora collection, like I talked about the last time, the one that draws me in is the Jewel Tones. They're $14, and they're a good, they're called the I Loves palettes. They're a good formula, and for $14, and then you can save that extra $280 off of there. I think for the price that you would get it for, it's a nice palette to have. If you want to treat yourself to a new palette, they do have lots of different variations. I said the Jewel Tones just happens to be one that drew me in, but I think they're definitely worth it. I do want to maybe try the Farsali, that eye cream. The ingredients looked honestly pretty decent. Do I think it's still probably overpriced? Maybe. It's the turmeric eye cream that they just came out with. I'm still, I'm on the fence about it. I do have some current eye creams in my rotation, so it's something that I, it's on my radar, but it's not necessarily something that I'm gonna run out and get in this sale. Now the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette, on the other hand, hmm, she's so pretty. She's $65. Do I need another palette? Absolutely freaking not. Mm, yeah, no, don't, don't need it. Um, but she pretty. <laughs> or the Desert Dusk. Those are the two that draw me in. Also, I may get the Ren toner as well because I use one toner during the day and one at night. I only use retinol toners at night. I use the glycolic and lactic acid toners during the day. As long as you're wearing sunscreen, you're fine. I am going to get my Kapari Eye Balm. It is $28, ridiculously overpriced, which is why I won't pay the full price for it. But you know how much I love that stuff for underneath my eyes. My eyes have been missing it since I finished it. I don't understand the price point. I don't understand why you go through it so quickly, but it's so, it's so good. And uh, yeah, so saving the 20% off of that will make my wallet extremely happy. The one palette I've been staring at forever is the Ciate Lenten Astrolites um, Shadow Palette. It's $35 and it, the colors look so pretty. And you know how much I love the Glitter Storm palette from Ciate. They look so pretty. They're embossed with their little bow. They have two colors. The one I, I'm looking at right now is called Burnt and the other one is called Jeweled. So I am thinking that's about it. I had a few other things in there, but to me there weren't very interesting items and I definitely know I'm not going to be picking them up. There's a lot in there and you know I'm not gonna be getting <laughs> an eighth of what's in that card. But I do like discussing them with you and talking them over and getting your feedback and your thoughts. As you see, I have a process that I work through. I go through it in my mind. I talk about it. I get your feedback and then I like to make my decisions. So I am very curious to know that if you're going to shop the sale, what are you going to be getting? I'm also going to be looking at any of those items and going to the brand's websites and seeing if they are offering a deeper discount than the Sephora sale. So again, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to shop? Are you not going to shop? Are you just going to browse? Are you going to live vicariously through other people? You know I love talking to you guys in the comments. I'm going to move over because now my back hurts. 
And you guys are amazing and wonderful and spectacular and lovely people that you know I have the greatest admiration for. Just felt you needed to know that right now. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in on and around, I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week. I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.